I'm filming this at 2 a.m. on the 31st of March. Obviously, technically, it's not 2 p.m., but it also is because obviously, clock strange and all of that good stuff. Anyway, let's do my little Tiwi Jar picks my April reads or spring reads. I've seen some people call it spring, and I'm like, spring is kind of like three months. This will just be obviously April. I've got a mixture of prompts and actual books in here. There might be some books where I'm currently reading them, so I will not include them, or I've got plans to read them. So again, I'm not, like I've got plans to read them for a certain video. So again, I'm not going to read them to the point where I'm not adding new books that I buy, because that's hard to keep track of. And I keep buying way too many books. Don't we all? Don't we freaking all? Um, let's choose our first one. What does this say? I can't even tell at this point. I can't even read the back of it. Spanish Love Deception. We did this the previous time. Where have we put the Spanish Love Deception? And of course you're literally sat on it. You know what? We'll get it out at the end. We all know what Spanish Love Deception is. If we don't... You're very new. That's a book that was on my previous TBR and I didn't end up getting to it. I don't know what reason for that was, um, but yeah. Do you even know what that says? The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea. That's got to be one of these ones, hasn't it? No, I don't think it is. I know what it is. I know the cover. Oh, and we've just dropped a book, so I have no clue which one that is. But The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie. Oh, I picked this up because it's an absolute stunning cover. Um, this is, I believe, yeah, this is fantasy. Um, it's to do with legends and when sea god meets his true bride, um, that storms will end. Um... And that each year a maiden is sacrificed to the sea. So I think it's like an, not an enemies to lovers, but kind of. Probably like forced proximity, like mate, fated mates. I don't know. But yeah, I absolutely loved the look of the cover. And it, I'm sorry, but you do judge a book back by its cover. And if a book has such a pretty cover, you're going to look at it more likely than like another book. Um, but yeah, that's our second pick. I need to remember that that's our second because I think I did this last time. I had a terrible month last month. Is that the right errand? Because of Miss Bridgerton. So you guys ended up being sat in it. So whilst you were sat in it, I picked up the Spanish Love Deception just so that we've got it easily accessible in our pile. And then because of Miss Bridgerton, this I want to say it was in a previous TBR. I can't remember which one. But yeah, so far we've only actually had one new one. Also, I think I'm picking six. We didn't have the greatest month in March, but that's because of a reading challenge that I was doing. I really want to pick out a prompt. I'm hoping that by dwindling down the number of book, specific book ones, that um, we'll get to the prompts. Doomsday Prophecy. Well, at least that one's in front of me. Also, um, because of Miss Bridgerton is going to be like Regency, it's like set before the Bridgerton, like main family. Spanish Love Deception is like a rivals to lovers kind of thing. Um, but yeah, the Doomsday Prophecy by Scott Mariani. And it's literally an ex SAS operative who used to rescue kidnap victims. He then searches for a missing person um, and ends up on a dangerous mission to find related to like an ancient artifact and it takes him to like Greece, American Deep South and Jerusalem. It's just your kind of action adventure kind of thriller. Not like thriller thriller but like it's gonna be some like high stakes. Um, I picked this up I think it was, was, I think it was in a four for a pound thing at a charity shop. So I didn't pay much for this. I've read one of Scott Mariani's books before. I can't remember the name of it, but I have read one of them before. 
and I do remember enjoying it. I think I gave it something like four stars. Um, so that's what number four. Yes. I really want a prompt. Do we just go till we get a prompt? Because we're not stuck to this TBR anyway. I feel like this one's been picked out before because of how loose it is. The Woman on the Ledge. I've never had this book. I should probably remove my deodorant off the top of there. The Woman on the Ledge is a fairly recent pick. I got this like from Asda and basically a woman falls to her death. The um, narrator is arrested for her murder because he met her the previous night and she was threatening to jump and the narrator had talked her down. The police pick holes in the story lawyer doesn't believe and the narrator is keeping secrets a i want to say psychological thriller um at least i'd say it's more like a psycho psychological thriller with like crime it's like a psychological crime thriller kind of thing and i will say the end this end page is especially beautiful yeah set in london like this might be the author's first book i kind of want to do a reading debut debut novels like the author's first book and like an author that doesn't have any books out at the moment or maybe they've got like two out or something um i really want to do that so what is that five i'm going to my nana's tomorrow so i'm kind of thinking what book do i take with me do we just keep going till we get a uh prompt i think we should what does this one say i've got a lady's guide to fortune hunting at the other side of the room i'm just gonna stick a photo up here you know what let's go till we get a prompt so that's what six i just got books moving if you hear anything in the background because i've moved my recent purchases to the front you and me oh i kind of I love that. I wanted an Emily Henry book and I was thinking of maybe taking Happy Place to my nurse. But you know what? You and me on vacation. I'm happy with that. We're going to get a prompt at this point. I do need to think of more prompts, but you know, we all love that. What does that say? Oh, and of course, of course I gave it to you upside down. Queen Victoria Demon Hunter. This... I came across on eBay. I don't know how I came across it. I've owned it for years. I'm kind of curious to see how long I've owned it now. I think this is like a horror. Basically, it's like Queen Victoria kills demons. Many staff at Kensington Palace filling many roles and one role was expected to hunt demons. It wasn't shocking to Victoria that it was her who was supposed to be in that role was a surprise this was one where i saw it and thought that looks interesting i've never heard of it before and actually i've still never heard of it we're gonna end up with like 10 books at this point just to get a freaking prompt there's only like 20 in here oh this one's never been opened i feel like this is prompt friends to lovers romance <sighs> okay so we're looking at the top I could go with Powerless by Elsie Silver. I literally finished the second one last month, spoiler alert. Um, and I know that these, and it literally says in the fact, it says two childhood best friends, two broken hearts. They've been in the friend zone for years. Like this is childhood friends to lovers. I know I should be probably looking a bit harder for another book, but I did really enjoy the second book. So you know what, we're gonna go with Powerless by Elsie Silver. Love how I came very very close to going for Lauren Roberts then. Because the thing is, is we can't do Down and Dusted because that is literally like a rivals to lovers. Well then they're sort of rivals. I don't know of any other ones. I just knew that Sloan and Jasper were friends already. Technically this is friends to lovers um, and it's short. You've reached some obviously we kind of all know what happens part of your world they didn't know each other you know what i don't think i actually have that many friends to lovers i feel like there is probably something in there you know what we are going with powerless by obviously silver that literally took me minutes and i swear to god it literally took me minutes we're literally going with powerless that ends 
a little search. That's nine books we've ended up choosing. Nine freaking books. Nine. I love how we went for the original, like six. Reasonable six. Um, do you really want to know what my current, currently reading is? Like 26 related to a video. I know, how unfortunate of me. But thank you for watching this video. Let me know what books you're planning on reading in April. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.